What do you think of when you look at this image? We're looking at a World War II historic photo from Nazi Germany of a Nazi German soldier talking to a Jew who has been identified under the racial laws at that time as a Jew and forced to wear a yellow star. Clearly, uh, either in a concentration camp or perhaps in one of the Jewish ghettos prior to being sent to a concentration camp. The text on this image clearly says, instead of saying fuck the SS, how about you stop breaking the law? And you can see this was shared by a page called Cop Logic on FB facebook.com so the concept behind this meme as it was shared originally was that people who say you should just always do what police tell you to do regardless of what it is just because they're the police are basically opening us up to the kind of situation that led to the holocaust and uh, many other mass slaughters of innocent people by corrupt regimes as soon as you stop questioning what you're being told to do just because the person has so-called authority and wears a uniform you are basically a slave and this isn't an exaggeration this is simple logic there's no way out of that um, if you try to claim that well you can always go through the democratic process and defend yourself that way well no that usually doesn't work and it certainly not in nazi germany because they obviously heavily corrupted the government to the point where they could do whatever they want, and really there's nothing that anyone could do to stop them, certainly not through any sort of democratic process. So here's the interesting thing. I shared this meme on Facebook in reply to someone's comment. I don't have the original thread. And not long after that, Facebook banned me temporarily. And they said, we don't allow certain things on Facebook, including graphic violence, hate speech, harassment and bullying, nudity, sexual activity and sexual exploitation. And I made a video about this at the time because I found it hilarious that they'd done this because clearly the image that I shared was in no way any of these things. There's no graphic violence, there's no nudity, there's no sexual activity, there's no sexual exploitation. So it could only possibly be hate speech, harassment and bullying simply because there's a Nazi in the picture. But nothing in my meme was hating anyone, nothing was harassing anyone and nothing was bullying anyone. It was a historic photograph with some text on it, and none of that was occurring. Yes, there was an image of harassment and bullying in the form of the German Nazi harassing and bullying the Jewish man, probably, but that isn't even really visible in the image, A, and B, it's a historic fact that these things happened. So the most you can really say from their decision here is that they, for some reason, want to censor World War II and what actually happened. Now that is quite disturbing, considering the importance that the people at the time knew that those events had, and their intention that future generations would never forget what happened. Particularly Jewish people often say, we'll never forget, and the world should never forget these things. So why is it, you know, you could make a case that Facebook is actually being anti-Semitic here, in that they are blocking out the true facts about the history of um, World War II, and the logic involved that led up to the harassment of the Jews, and when people such as myself highlight that logic and point to how it's applying to our world today and that we should pay attention to it to stop these things happening again somehow facebook deems that that's a bad action and that we shouldn't do that we shouldn't point out that this logic this authoritarian regime type logic exists today that's a problem for facebook well yesterday i got the same thing happen again different image at first they didn't even explain what the image was and it's only because I happened to click on it once or twice and saw the image since that I know what it is since then the image is actually gone I can't even see it I've sent the feedback they've ignored it as they always do they've literally never replied to anything I've ever sent them um, for help or support on any subject whatsoever even when I'm paying them for advertising they never even reply so you know ordinarily I would never use this company to provide me services because their services are terribly um, supported and they mistreat me um, the only reason I use Facebook at all, and I may never use them again, actually, uh, the only reason I use them is because there's so many people using it, using the platform, and I need to communicate with as many people as possible. That's it. That's the only real reason. So here they said, we do not allow symbols, praise, or support of dangerous individuals or organizations on Facebook. We define dangerous as things such as terrorist activity, organized hate, mass or serial murder, human trafficking, organized violence, or criminal activity. So they're saying, you know, you, you can't show symbols, praise or support that could somehow be construed for any of these things. 
Okay, fair enough. I mean, that seems a bit vague and it definitely could be open to abuse, but all right, I suppose the average person can get behind that. So here's what happened to yesterday. I don't know exactly what they mean by go live. I mean, people would assume that that means you can't live stream. I never live stream, but I think that going by what they've actually done, to them it seems go live means I can't post, basically. So they've literally stopped me posting for two months. They've referenced the first case, which was the meme I just showed you, as if that was a valid complaint. And then they showed this image down here. Your comment didn't follow our community standards. And I happen to know what this image is. I remember doing it. It was, it was from months ago. I posted this. It might even be like five months ago, something like that. Um, somehow no, no, no issue with it until now. It's actually this image, which is of the current so-called Queen of England here with her mother and other relatives. And basically they were being taught the Nazi Hitler salute. This was prior to World War II breaking out. Um, because members of the uh, royal family in England at that time had quite close connection with Germany and some of them were very much Nazi sympathisers. It's not speculative or open to debate really with many people. Uh, some people might debate it, but ultimately that's what was happening here to my understanding. And yes, it's true, she was only a child. She probably didn't understand what she was doing. Um, maybe she maybe she didn't, I don't know. I doubt she would have understood the full ramifications of it. Her mother probably should have done. Um, but the fact is, this is a historic photo that came out and was published in the Sun newspaper in England a few years ago. Uh, it was covered by lots of mainstream sources commenting on it. And I just posted that. I, unfortunately, I don't have the context of where I posted it because Facebook hasn't provided the context. Um, I think there's a reason why they haven't provided the context, because if they had the context, if I had the context, then their action would seem even more ridiculous. But um, in any case, uh, it, I remember that I was replying to someone else's post. And basically, I wrote a comment under, underneath saying, we vote ya, yeah, as in pointing out that this family is German, which they are historically German. Um, and I was basically making a joke. I wasn't you know, being serious. I was, certainly wasn't promoting Nazism. Um, so they've basically claimed that I need to be banned from Facebook for two months at a time during COVID-19 where it's very important that we can communicate with each other for our own safety and survival. And I'm actually helping people learn how to grow food and do other things to, uh, to help their own survival and improve their health. Uh, they've blocked me from communicating. And it's based on me having shared an image that's a historic image yet again, which has already been fully published in mainstream media sources. And there was no hate, no nothing going on. It was just literally a picture of them doing that. And you can see here that um, the sun at the time um, this was 2015, the BBC talked about this, so I'm pretty sure that's when this image was published. Secret 1933 film shows Edward VIII teaching this Nazi salute to the Queen, their royal high on this. So BBC and Sun, no problem publishing this. You know, the, um, the Windsors obviously weren't happy with this being published, uh, and there's a whole bunch of stuff in here about the Duke, um, Edward VIII and, you know, some of his connections to Nazism and so on. Um, Edward, Edward and his wife, Wallace Simpson, met Adolf Hitler two years before World War II broke out. So, you know, they were in touch and quite chummy with Hitler. And uh, it's no surprise, really, in a sense, that he was passing this on to them. Look, hey, I've met this lovely guy over in Germany. He's so great. Let's, uh, let's, let's do the Hitler dance, or whatever it was he was telling them. But anyway, the, the actual details of all of this aren't so relevant. The fact is, this is a historic image. It's certainly not something that demonstrates hate speech or anything like that. Interestingly, just before I got banned, my friend, new friend on Facebook, showed me uh, that he had also been banned for a similar period of time. And it was, among other things, for sharing this image, which I've seen many times on, on, uh, on Facebook recently, which is a similar kind of meme to the first one that I shared. And it's a half of a British cop, half of a German Nazi, and then it says, the, the text has been cut off, but it says, I was just following orders at the bottom. In other words, that same principle of blindly alleging to authority figures tends to not lead to good places, tends to not result in uh, good outcomes. And in the Nuremberg trials, there was, it was no defence to say I was only following orders. You know, some, some German soldiers and hierarchy figures tried to say that and they were hung anyway. Now, this is a historic fact. My grandfather and other people of those generations who fought in World War II, I am pretty sure would be utterly disgusted to, to hear that this observation that modern people are making about the way that blind allegiance to authority can result in mass murder is being suppressed. They would be disgusted by that. And it's Facebook that's doing this. 
And I find it extremely Orwellian and disturbing that they justify the suppression of free speech and the suppression of historic fact about abuses of free speech by trying to claim that the people talking about this subject are actually hating people and they're the bad people. So this to me is not an accident. This has happened months ago before COVID-19 happened when all of the Facebook staff were working there. This wasn't just purely down to artificial intelligence making bad decisions. It happened to me months ago and it's now happening multiple times again, the same thing. The same thread, if you compare modern uh, police in America or Britain or perhaps establishment figures to Nazis, now you are committing basically a hateful offence that demands that you lose your free speech privileges on this platform. Now, imagine if this was extrapolated out so that the governments themselves followed along the same principles and they basically literally banned you from communicating in public for the same sorts of reasons. Well, now you've got a situation where basically no one can talk about Nazi Germany, basically out of fear of um, repression and, and possibly ending up in jail or losing certain rights. That is Nazism. There's no two ways about it. That is authoritarian, um, the same sort of logic that the Nazis were using to stifle dissent and to complete a power grab and dominate the people. If you can't identify and question the truth about history and what's really going on, then evil can flourish. And many Germans at that time said they had no idea that the German government was running death camps or concentration camps, slave labour camps, whatever, you want, whatever your interpretation of them is. And the only real reason, that, assuming that was true, and they really didn't know, the only way that that could happen would be through the enforced silencing of people who spoke about it. So I find it extremely disturbing that these images are being removed from Facebook. And all I can really say at this point is, please do share this on with as many people as you can. Please make this go viral. Facebook is still used by billions of people. And I'm pretty sure that most people, if they understood this was happening, would not agree with it and would not want to participate in it. And I feel that, unfortunately, this kind of thing goes on in the shadows, this kind of censoring on Facebook. Uh, of important things. I dread to think how many people have tried to speak their truth and share important information online or through Facebook who we've never heard from because they've just been blocked by Facebook. Uh, I regularly, as somebody who helps run the Hive Uncensored blockchain for social networking and my own social network, regularly hear from people who want to use these systems because they've been censored by Facebook and Twitter. And when you look at what they're posting, mostly there's nothing wrong with it. Mostly it's just, often it's just them um, telling stories of people in their own country coming from a place uh, where the government is repressive. They're trying to be heard. And at this point, Facebook is acting very much in allegiance with the interests of repressive regimes, at this point, frankly. So please do pass this on. Please do seek alternatives to Facebook as much as you can. Uh, there are a long list of social networks out there. And yes, Facebook is huge, but the only real reason from my perspective that it's huge is that people stay there because it's huge. It's a self-fulfilling thing. The more people leave, the less people will want to stay there and gradually will crumble and fall apart. Um, you, I definitely recommend looking into the video by James Corbett called Secrets of Silicon Valley, if I remember correctly. Uh, I'll share a link to that under this video where it gives you a very good insight into the origins of Facebook, the funding behind it, the connection to CIA, Incutel, their venture capital fund, um, and how in reality uh, Facebook is very likely absolutely not the creation of someone like Mark Zuckerberg, just this handy dandy university based dating app that went viral. Um, there's very good evidence to show that it has always been and will always be an information collecting spying resource for um, intelligence agencies to achieve their goals. And often their goals are not something that most people would want to go along with. Um, so yeah, if you have anything to say on this subject, please do let me know in the comments wherever you see this. I'm going to upload it to YouTube, freespeak, eureka.org. Uh, Twitter, Mines, and uh, probably some other places, So and BitChute probably as well. So yeah, please do, wherever you see this, pass it along, comment, like, upvote, and so on, and uh, let's get this exposed, because this is not acceptable to me. And people that say that, oh, they're just a private corporation, they can do what they want, you know, you go on their site and um, you just have to abide by the rules. Well, really, that's no different in a lot of senses to saying, well, the Germans run the government, the Nazis run the government, you just have to go along with it because you're in Germany. Well, not exactly. I mean, at the end of the day, if someone's oppressing you in some way and you are 
you find it very difficult to make alternative decisions, then that's a problem. And yes, I could stop using Facebook and I probably will do. Unfortunately, though, 66% of internet traffic runs through Facebook and Google combined at the moment. And as an internet professional, that basically means that it's very difficult for me to do my job without accessing Facebook and Google. And I wish it wasn't the case, and I'm working to try to help projects that offer alternatives to Facebook and Google. Uh, but at the moment, it's quite a challenge for me to achieve competitive um, positioning in my industry without using these platforms. So this is why I take a stand at these things, and this is why I'm interested in informing other people this is happening, so that collectively we can make better decisions about who we support and who we fund and who gets the billions of dollars. As a side note, projects like the Hive blockchain and previously Steam blockchain um, offer social networking where the user gets paid. You actually get paid for posting on these networks. No one, There's no billionaire getting paid all the money that you should be being paid. And that's what's happening with Facebook and Google. People are literally being multi, multi, multi billionaires uh, and sustaining massive wealth off the back of money that the users should be receiving because they're providing the content for all of this. As an analogy, it's, it's effectively like running a big TV station where no one on the TV station gets paid except for the people that started the TV station. No actors get paid, no nothing. Uh, and that's what we've got with mainstream centralised social networking at the moment, and it's disgusting. So please do pay attention to that. And for anybody out there who cares about animal rights uh, and has a heart and empathy, you should also look into the fact that um, Mark Zuckerberg gave $5 billion towards a scientific research project that specifically states that its intention is to overpower the free will and mind control primates. And they specifically say in their text, they're looking to overpower the will of primates. They're looking to specifically change what primates do through stimulating their brain directly. Can you imagine anything more horrific? Primates are essentially almost human in many, many, many ways. They have the fundamental qualities of humans in terms of feelings, consciousness, cognition, sentience, capacity to feel, heart, compassion, intelligence, intellect, communication. They just have different bodies and different ways, ultimately, and a different level of consciousness, presumably. However, what they're doing, I mean, literally, this is not an exaggeration to say that what Facebook and Mark, well, Mark Zuckerberg, it seems primarily, is doing to these animals is directly comparable to what Nazis were doing in concentration camps to Jews and other and disabled people and all different kinds of groups of people that they deem subhumans. Zuckerberg is literally repeating that. I can't express this strongly enough. The owner of Facebook is repeating the mistakes of the Nazi party to the point of extreme evil. I'll just leave it at that. Thanks for listening. Until next time, peace.